like it. It's wonderful. God, it's amazing. It's enormous. I don't like it. Why? I just don't. Why? It gives me the creeps. Why? Stop asking why, will you? What's the matter? Well, let's go stay at a hotel. It's bloody derelict. It's not. It's just been empty for a while, that's all. The whole building's empty. There's no one in the flat downstairs, is there? I don't know. There isn't, I've looked. Well, I think it's brilliant. You can see the sea. Places like this, retired colonels, people who've got our pairs. I wonder if you can see France. Oh, of course you can't. Let's go stay in a hotel. I can't afford a hotel. I'll pay. You haven't got any money. It's only for the weekend. We can find somewhere. I thought this Colin bloke wanted you to use the place. Who does? Well then. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. What's that supposed to mean? Why are you in such a pissy mood? It's brilliant here. It's a bit weird. <laughs> but I really like it. You're not going to stay here when you're at home. No. Well then, what are you getting in a flap about? If it was your idea to come, you invited me, remember? Colin's your friend. Not mine. Well, let's go stay in a hotel. I can't afford a hotel. And I like it here. I've thought of something back, haven't you? We could make a fire and... Where? There's no fireplace. I am not going to drive all the way back until I've had my weekend away. I'm not staying. We should go back. I'd rather go back than waste my money on a hotel. All right, let's go back. Don't talk wet. <laughs> what did Colin say? You think you were boring? me. There's a bit of dosser in here. I can smell him. I can't. Well, I'm going to tell Colin we got here too late and his holiday flat's been squatted by a bunch of winos. <laughs> Is that why he wants us to stay here? Stop it getting squatted! <coughs> Put it past him. Oh, what a laugh. Believe me, I know him. That's the way his mind works. He wasn't lying when they said there wasn't much here, was he? Has he just bought it? Must have done. He has to have money to put into this place and a place of his own. He does. Hmm. It's another world money, isn't it? I suppose it's an investment. No, only Colin it will be. Or it'll be tax deductible. Or it'll be in his wife's name, it'll be a fiddle. Or the company has to lose some money and it'll just sit here empty, increasing its value until they sell it. Whatever it is, it's about making a killing, that's for sure. We could be caretakers. We could swan around all day watching telly and getting paid for it. That'd be working, wouldn't it? Let's go. What's got into you? We've just taken three hours getting here. Why can't you relax? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. What? Absolute quiet. <laughs> <coughs> there has been a dosser in here. He's left his jacket. It won't be a dosser's. It'll be one of the workmen. It's filthy. We can't stay here. Yes, we can. And we're going to. It won't be a dosser's. And well, if it is, he isn't here now, is he? What are we going to do here all weekend? There's nothing here. Oh, don't be so pathetic. There's masses to do. What? No, but you can always find something. Do you know what this place reminds me of? What? My life. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, it does. It's brilliant. I was just wondering well why. Well done. Well, I mean, why wonder? Why worry? Oh, stop thinking. You're on holiday, right? Lady. No. Not now. It's my weekend away. I'm supposed to enjoy myself. What are we going to do for food? Chris? I don't 
front hill. So what do you feel like? had some money. I really do. What would I do for 200 pounds? 100 pounds? 50 quid? I don't care. But you have got 50 quid. I know. <laughs> if you invested 50 quid, you'd keep hearing that. <coughs> Lady. What? Take it on the train. That happened weeks ago. No, but I keep thinking about it. I just can't take it. Things like that can happen all the time. They can. They don't. But they always might. <coughs> it made me so angry. If that's the nearest you've been to disaster, then you're lucky. People get murdered on trains. Things like that happen all the time. Nothing did happen though, did it? A bloody lunatic stuck a gun in my face because I was looking serious. I don't believe it. Is that what he said? How can you sort the real from the mental out with that sort of thing going on? I didn't think it was a gun. Who cares what he was? I was bloody terrified. You don't let these things go. That's your trouble. I know what I said to him if I saw him again. Well, you could travel on that bit of rail for the next ten years and never see him again, so you might as well just forget it. That's it, isn't it? You never know who you're going to come across. What lunatics are out there lurking. What's Colin's wife like? No idea. Haven't you ever met her? No. <coughs> I don't know him well, you know. I'm certainly not into that domestic bliss stuff. And what do you think she's like? I think she's foreign. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're a bit of a name for this. Colin and his wife, aren't they? Rich people always are. He must like you. I have no idea. How do you know him? I don't really. I knew him when I was 17. He was my boyfriend for the car. Wouldn't know him at all now except he comes into the restaurant. He always expects special treatment because we're old friends. Well, you are in a way. Well, like hell we are. We've got nothing in common at all except background. <laughs> He doesn't really know what I'm saying here. He just said it as a terribly funny thing to say in front of his turdy friends. Well, Chris, I'd love to say no to flat by the suit, wouldn't you, Chris? And I said yes. So here we are. I know nothing about him, and he doesn't know anything about me. He just thinks he does. I know nothing about him, but that doesn't stop me from knowing everything you need to know. Because you don't need to know everything about someone like him to know them inside out. He's rich. He probably goes sailing. He knows what the timeshare index is. I'm sure he's got something he can find to worry about. He's never concerned, though. You can never find anyone like him concerned about anything. He might dish out checks to charity and feel he's a fucking saint, but he's not losing sleep over anything. I don't know. He isn't. Believe me, I know him. I thought you said you didn't.
what are you doing? Imagining yourself paralysed. <laughs> that is what you were doing, isn't it? Yep. So... Don't know. Well then. I was counting myself lucky that I'm not paralysed. And touching what I don't ever get to be. You should put yourself through thinking things like that. Why? It's good for you. It's important to realise what we've got. Everything we've got works. We're terribly <coughs> lucky. You've got multiple sclerosis. So what? You're a waitress and you hate it and you want a BMW and you're never going to get one and you're all knotted up inside! in this world to be cautious or to throw caution to the wind. Don't know. Exactly. You can bug it either way, so do what makes you happy. I'm going to do something tomorrow. What? Don't know. Great. I'm going to be in a good mood tomorrow. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> My mother told me to take this suitcase over the mountain, and so I did. And when I got there, she was stood there, and she told me to take the suitcase straight back to where I had just come from. I was tired and exhausted, but it was her will, so I did. I shifted my suitcase from my left hand to my right, as the left was wearing under the heavy burden. I tightened my grip, took a deep breath, and set off again. And when I got there, she was stood there with her arm overstretched and pointing back over the mountain. So I began again, and with every inch of my body weeping with fatigue, I started to climb. 
Every step I took, I had to change my arm. Every boulder I reached, I had to spur myself on to get to the next. But it wasn't enough. And there was no one to talk to. So I talked to God. And he listened to me. And I knew that I had to go on. That I had been put on this earth to bear my burden with fortitude. And only in accepting my suffering would I realise my true purpose in life. And I looked up, strong and enriched with God's love. And I carried on past the next two, three, ten boulders. And over the top and down the side. And my heart pounding with joy. And when I got there, she was stood there. She was screaming and shouting and laughing and jumping. She pulled the suitcase from under my arm and spilt the contents out onto the floor, which formed a neat mount of rubble. White, chalky stick. <clears throat> and she laughed and laughed and laughed. And through her tears and somewhat short of breath, she said, There. Doesn't that make Adam, Madam angry? And I said, no, because it didn't. But somehow it had made her angry. She stopped laughing instantly, pointed back over the mountain. And so I began again. And I found the more I climb my mountain, for I climbed that mountain for many, many years, I realized I had God's love by my side. My father had not abused me, and my mother had not punished me for it. I would have never found the Lord. But my purpose was to accept that suffering, and I did, with joy. <coughs> Your father abused you. Your mother punished you for it. And you accepted that. God gave me the strength. I could only endure my burden if I accepted it. I believed in God. But I find the world less sad. If you believed in God, you would be able to cope with your sadness. I don't want to cope with it. My mother never wanted to cope with hers either. She never understood that her burden, her anger was her burden. She was never relieved of, of her stress. I wish I knew where my mountain was. You will be able to find your mountain. If you just let go of the anger, let go of the frustration, let go of the paranoia, let go It's not as simple as that anymore. I know everything now. Never go on holiday from it. When I get to heaven, I'm going to be a pension saint too. <laughs> I'm going to be a pension saint of insomnia. And anger.
is it? It's a... A what? It's a gun. A what? A gun. What? A gun. What? Gun. What? It's a gun. No, it isn't. <laughs> what do you want? Nothing. Yeah? Yeah. I know what you want. What's that? Get out of my head and go play somebody else. I'm not in the mood. What? I'm not. Bam! <laughs> Are you deaf or just stupid? Stupid. I'm not in the mood. I all just got here. It's my weekend away and I'm supposed to enjoy myself. Yeah. Yes. Doing what? Dunno. What? I'm not here to watch the news and let my mind run amok. I don't have to think about you or guns or anything. My brain doesn't have to be on the edge. Make my mind a blank. Other people do. So can I. Do you reckon it's blanks and this? What? Were you scared? There's nothing going on in my head at all. Go play somebody else. <laughs> Who? I don't know. The government is treating as an Islamist terror attack the hacking to death of a man in a South London street. The dead man is reported to have been a soldier. Unconfirmed reports say he was decapitated. Whitehall sources say he was attacked by two men who first hit him with a car, then used machetes and butcher's knives to kill him. The... Go on. Sod off, throw right out of the window. I'm not very friendly, are you? Put off or I'll throw myself out with it. <laughs> then you'll be at a loose end, won't you? <coughs> this report is from Sophie Hutchinson and you may find some of the images disturbing. This was the unimaginable scene on the streets of South East London today, just moments after the attack. Passers-by look on in horror at what police have described as a serious incident. The assault happened at 20 past two this afternoon, according to Scotland Yard, on John Wilson's... Couple in traffic. I should be right up your street. <coughs> Who isn't any? <laughs> my God, detonate to mine. There must be one out there on the beach somewhere. Just get out of my head. Why? Were you scared? in my face. No, God! It's... I got played somebody else! I want to play you. Why? Because you like it. I love it. Then why do you always come back for more then? You're ready for a hit all the time. You're paranoid. 24 hours a day. I'm on holiday. I'm going to enjoy myself in spite of the state of my head. I'll just hang about. I won't do anything. I'll be quiet. I'll just learn. What for? I'll just wait. What for? You know. What? So you ready? What for? Yeah, go on. Right, that's it. Something's going to get you warmed up soon. You're going to be sitting there, watching the telly, and the news is going to come on. And something's going to really piss you off. And I'll be right there. I'm going to recite every town in Britain I can think of that starts with a B. We won't hit you really, because it's a game. This is a game. Look, you know it's a game. So what are you fighting for? Bolton. 
basing stock, bath, vertical on tweed, big and hill, it's not how. Brighton, Mia, Ormond, Bristol, Welcome back. Before the break, I was speaking to Sarah. Very easy, right? At 43 in this audience, to look at you at 16 and go, for God's sake! Because you know what he did backstage? What? Laughed. Laughed. And can I tell you something? <laughs> I think, without you getting upset, he laughs at you. What have you been doing? Nothing. You haven't decided what you're going to do with your life. Very funny. Anyone come and stay here? Colin invites us. I know, but what is there to do all day? Mooch about. It's nice. There's masses to do. You're both English, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Mm, you'd have to be. <laughs> <laughs> life's easier tests. You can't possibly have a holiday <laughs> in a flat. Well, Colin obviously thought we could or I wouldn't have invited us. Do you think I can have a drink? Getting down here's been a nightmare. <laughs> um, Don't you drink? Yes, of course. Uh, people die in rooms like these. Behind their <laughs> neck curtains. <laughs> Did you know curtains were invented by the English? Yes, they were. <laughs> there can be no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoever yeah, might want to find a talk to you here. At least in Greece it was so hot you didn't have to talk. Do you want a whiskey? That's all we've got. Yes, that'd be wonderful. Hannah? Yes, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Look nice. 
that better and put them. Open it right out. Bigger. I have. Right out. Bigger. I have. That's it. Oh, it can't be. It is. Beyond France, Italy, and beyond Italy, Greece. <coughs> and where have we chosen to buy our holiday flat? The English Riviera. Oh, I'm going out. Do you want anything? Um, think about it. <laughs> 